Hello, hello. Steve, the Canadian Sasquatch here with a, uh, some knowledge. So in this video, we are going to go through the process of doing a spirit indication test. And basically what that is, is detect, uh, figuring out how much alcohol by volume is in your tasty beverages. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's beer, wine, mead, uh, anything of the like. This process will work for everything. Today I will be using it on a, uh, a chocolate uh, port, a cho orange chocolate port. Um, so it's a red wine port with some uh, orange chocolate flavorings that were added to it. It's a kit and I don't trust the readings that I got. So uh, uh, from my original gravity to my final gravity. So I want to do a spirit indication. I actually do this with all of my beverages because most of them I add stuff to them after the original gravity, like my braggots, meads, all that. I add stuff to them all the time. So going doing the ABV calculation of original gravity versus final gravity never works for me simply because my Final Gravity has had a whole lot of stuff added to it, usually gallons of honey or whatever. So I always use a spirit indication test to figure all that out. And this video will show you how to do it. And so with that, we are going to the kitchen. And we will uh, start with that process. And then once we're done with that process, we will come back and there will be a little screen capture or whatever, hopefully that all works, of the website that I used for doing the actual calculations. And then, uh, yeah, once we're, and then that's it. It's fairly simple, it takes a little bit, wastes, for me it wastes six ounces of a tasty beverage, but I think it's worth it to know what the ABV is on some of the larger beverages because you can't tell by drinking them whether it's 6% or 14%. And if you want to keep track of that stuff, then it's kind of nice to know. So with that, to the kitchen we go. Here we are, so we have our sample, the uh, chocolate orange port. So you'll need whatever you're testing. A measuring cup, this one, uh, it's a one cup. Uh, whatever you have will work. I like this kind because you can look down on it and see instantly where it is and I'll be measuring to six ounces because six ounces is about how much my hydrometer test tube thingy works on and with that you need your hydrometer you need your thermometer you need a vessel for cooling things down in so I'll be using this Pyrex dish because measuring cup fits well in there you'll need a stove and a pot so these are all the things that you need oh and you also need a pen and paper to write everything down because you got to write down all your information. So once I get everything ready for measuring this stuff, I will be right back. And there we are. We've got six ounces measured out in the measuring cup with a little bit left over because you're always going to have a little bit left over to sample. So what we do now is we're going to take this. Actually, what I prefer to do is actually have the hydrometer in here first. And I'm just going to check here to make sure it's closed correctly. Hydrometer in there first, so when I measure it out, it uh, measures out correctly. I know I don't need all of it in the tube. 
So there we are. So we've got that now, and then we can take it out and do the little spinning trick to make sure there's no bubbles attached to it. So this pops out at 1.7D, pretty much even. Just a little bit more so we can see what's going on here. Yeah, I would call that 70. So we take our pen and we write that down on the paper 1.070. So now we are done with this guy. And we also need to make note of where are you? There you are. Uh, the specific gravity and what temperature your hydrometer is rated for. So mine's rated for 60. So the other part of this is, of course, the website is mesh is all in uh, the temperature is done in Celsius. So it's good to note up here, 60 F is equal to 15.555 Celsius. So uh, at least I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then when well, we got that going, we wait for the uh, temperature here to adjust. So it says 25.7 Celsius. You can see it's in there. Yep, 25.7 Celsius. I'll write that down. 25.7 Celsius. So then what we do now is pour it all back into here. Double check to make sure we're still at around six. Just a little bit shy, so let's a couple more drops. There we are. So we take this over to the pot on the stove, into the pot, get it all out. Sorry for the quick spinning. Start the stove. Gas stove. And away we go. So now what we do is we boil this down, as mentioned, to half of what we started with. And on here we started with six. So we'll go down to three. So the other part of all this is we need three ounces of cold water and I didn't <laughs> but this doesn't need to be measured out at this time. We just measure out a bunch of water and then a bunch of ice. So yeah, so what you want to do is you want a bunch of water and a bunch of ice to get this down cold, 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 because we do need to try and get the temperature when we're done back close to 25.7. I found that the best results are when it's closest to the original temperature. So, and even though ideally you'd want it up here, but there's calculations and whatnot. Calculations. We'll go over this when the time comes. That will uh, account for all of this and whatever shows up over here. But you get better results if it's all uh, the same temperature. So we have boilage happening. So 
Now, if this was a beer, I'd be a little bit more worried about boil over. As you all know, the wort kind of boils over. So, uh, I will be back uh, when we've boiled this down to one half. Alright, and we're back. And we have boiled it down. You can see it is down to three ounces there. Um, I can't really tell you how long it takes simply because the more alcohol is in there, the less time it will take because the alcohol boils off that much faster. So now we've got our ice water here. We're going to measure out three ounces of. I'm, tr I'm trying to do this. Oh, all right. So it's a little bit over two. That's fine. Now I just need a little bit under one on this one. I'm just try to keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there seems good. And then the, we can look at this one here and pour it until we hit six right there. So we are good on that. And then into the ice bath. So while we are away, I this guy with some ice and water. Um, make sure it gets in there and doesn't tip over. And while we're at it, mix it up. So as you can see the temperature is quite high. And it was boiling so it was 100 degrees Celsius and we're down to 39 already just by pouring in the, the ice water so and don't forget we're shooting for about there it is 25.7 so we will continue to cool this and when it's cool enough we'll be back so there we have it we're at 25.1 ish so we're overshot a little bit 25.2 We'll double check that once it's actually in the tube though here. So let's go ahead and get the hydrometer. Slide that in the tube. And we're pouring in the juice here. So now it's in there, that guy out of the way. And spin it down to release the bubbles off the bottom of it. And of course we can't really see anything from the top. So let's try and look at it from the bottom here. Uh, so it's, uh, I don't know how well that shows up, so you can see a 90, I mean the one above it is, that dark line above it is 80, so we're at about 80, 8, 1088, that's what I will write this down as, SG, and SG, 0, 88. And we'll gently lay that down because, as we all know, those are extremely breakable. Put the thermometer in just to double check what we're at here. 24, 24.3, 24.5. Ideally, this would be 25.7, but I know we overshot that. So we are at 25.0, 25.1, 25.2, oh, it's still going up. Do a quick little stir here just to see where we, 25.2 is what we'll use. 
point, whoops, 25.2 Celsius. So now we will go over to the computer to do this part of it to get that part of it. Alrighty then. So here we are at the website musther.net vino calc dot html uh, pound spirit indication um, I'll have these links down below so uh, like I mentioned before we need the hydrometer calibration which was written on the side of my hydrometer it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit which I know is 15.5556 uh, Celsius then what we need is our initial reading so that was the first reading we took which was 1.070 and then the initial temperature reading which was 25.7 Celsius which was on the thermometer there and then the final reading so this was after we boiled it down to one half and then added the water back up to the full six ounces and got the temperature down to where we want it so this was 1.0 Eight, eight. And then the final temperature was 25.2 degrees Celsius, which gives us the ABV of 14%. So this uh, little calculator is very handy to help us with that uh, black box of math that was on the uh, sheet of paper that I had there. So very easy, just fill it all out. Um, it is in Celsius, so you do need to convert everything from Celsius. To, or I'm sorry, from Fahrenheit to Celsius if you are working with a Fahrenheit system.